Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to talk about chocolate production. First of all, let me introduce our team first that consists of me, Cindy Fujianti, and my friends, Indira Prakoso and Nadifa Salsadila. And our presentation is divided into three main sections. Firstly, we are going to look at the definition of chocolate, a brief history, nutrition fact, and beneficial health of chocolate. Then, we are going to talk to you about chocolate production that will be explained by Indira Prakoso and also about the quality requirements and standard in chocolate processing, which will be explained by Nadifa Salsadila. Okay, I believe that almost everyone in the world have no doubt eaten and enjoy and possibly become obsessed with chocolate. But what exactly is chocolate? Chocolate is the food that obtained from cocoa beans that are fermented, roasted, and ground together until it forms chocolate liquor or it's a pure cocoa mass in solid or semi-solid form. Then to make chocolate, we added milk, solid, and sugar in varying proportions to get three kinds of chocolate that we knew, that is dark, milk, and white chocolate. Then, how is the story of the journey of chocolate to become famous today? Chocolate history started in Latin America, where cacao trees grow wild. The first people to use chocolate were probably the Olmec of what is today Southeast Mexico. Then, the Olmecs undoubtedly passed their cacao knowledge onto the Central American Mayans. The classic Mayans and their successor, including the Aztec, consumed chocolate as usually as a drink with water and perhaps chili or chicken with maize. They also used the beans as currency as well as using them in religious rituals. And they also believed that cacao was a heavenly food given to human by a feather serpent god. That's why, at that time, chocolate is known as food of the god. Then, when the Spanish invaded and colonized Mexico, Hernan Cortes traveled to Tenochtitlan to meet Moctezuma too. Moctezuma gave Cortes chocolate, his favorite drink, and served in a golden goblet. Then Spanish adopted chocolate for their own use. And also they added like cinnamon, sugar, and leave out the chili. And it was purposely kept an exclusive secret amongst the aristocracy. Eventually, word got out. In 17th century, chocolate spread across Europe. However, gradually it started to become more widely available, and they are also adapted the drink for their own tests. Then, in 1765, the first chocolate factory opened in America. Because it was time-consuming to produce cacao on a large scale, there have been horrific abuse of human rights that involved using plantation throughout West Africa, which supply Western companies use slave and child labor. The word of chocolate would change forever in 19th century. There were found new ingredients and new technologies to improve chocolate quality. By the 20th century, chocolate was no longer an elite luxury but had become a treat for the public. And today, chocolate has established itself in the rituals of our modern culture. And there are three main types of chocolate, white, milk, and dark chocolate. Flavor variations are present because of difference in the way it produces. Dark chocolate usually has a cacao or cocoa percentage of between 70% and 100% cacao, cocoa butter, and sometimes sugar. Milk chocolate is made up of 10% cacao, cocoa butter, sugar, and milk powder. And white chocolate is made up of cocoa butter, milk powder, and sugar, and it's not contain cacao. So, this is a nutritional value between cacao bean, dark, and milk chocolate. You can see the comparison of macronutrients, minerals, vitamins, and other nitrogenous compounds. And cacao beans are really rich in antioxidants. And since dark chocolate has more cacao, it has more fibers, minerals, and antioxidants. And this is also comparison of nutritional fact of chocolate based on brand of chocolate. Then, which has more health benefits for our body? Dark chocolate generally offers more health benefits than milk or white chocolate. Because cacao in chocolate, especially dark chocolate, is rich in antioxidants, 
It provides cardiovascular benefits by reducing inflammation, protecting the skin from oxidative damage, and helping to improve cognitive function and mood. Cacao also may lower high blood pressure, reduce the risk for diabetes and obesity, and improves brain health. The next presentation is about processing from the tree to the bar of chocolate. Firstly, the cocoa beans are harvested when its color is orange. Then, the cocoa split open and the beans be taken out from the pots. After that, the beans being fermented. They are placed in heat, covered, and anaerobic trays for 7-day microbial fermentation of the pectinaceous pulp surrounding beans. There is a microbial succession of a wide range of yeast, lactic acid, and acetic acid bacteria during high temperature of up to 50 degrees Celsius and microbial products such as ethanol, lactic acid, and acetic acid that will kill the beans and cause production of flavor precursors. So, this fermentation is good to enhance the better flavor of chocolate, but over fermentation leads to a rise in bacilli and filamentous fungi that can cause off flavors. After fermentation, the cocoa seeds must be dried before they can be scooped into sacks and shipped to chocolate manufacturer. The drying process usually takes about a week and results in seeds that are about half of their original weight. Roasting develops the color and flavor of the beans of chocolate. The outer shell of the beans is removed, and the inner cocoa bean meat is broken into small pieces called cocoa nibs. The roasting process makes the shells of the cocoa brittle, and cocoa nibs pass through a series of sieves, which strain and sort the nibs according to size in a process called winnowing. Grinding is the process by which cocoa nibs are grown into cocoa liquor, which is also known as unsweetened chocolate or cocoa mass. The cocoa liquor will be mixed with cocoa butter and sugar to make tasty chocolate. After the mixing process, the blend is further refined to bring the particle size of the add milk and sugar down to the desired fineness. After blending is complete, molding is the final procedure for chocolate processing. This step allows cocoa liquor to cool and harden into different shapes depending on the mold. Finally, the chocolate is packaged and distributed around the world.
The next is aspect of cocoa bean quality. For the production of good quality chocolate, manufacturers see cocoa beans with the following qualities. Have good intrinsic flavor attributes, free from off flavors, particularly smoke, mold, excessive acidity, excessive bitterness, and astringency. Be ground, harvested, fermented, dried, and stored using recommended part practices so as to ensure levels of contaminations are as low as reasonably achievable and comply with food safety legislation. The principal food safety concerns for the cocoa industry are allergens, bacteria, dioxin and PCBs, foreign matter, heavy metals, and infestation. Mineral oil hydrocarbons Cocoa beans might be exposed to make mineral oil hydrocarbons contamination during drying, particularly from fuel or fumes from oil fight burns when cocoa beans are dried artificially in direct dryer. And the next is mycotoxin including OTA. OTA is ochratoxin A. For cocoa, the most important mycotoxin is ochratoxin A produced by aspergillus mold. Though aflatoxin have also been detected. And the next is pesticide residues. Well, within the international grade 1 standard, beans uniform in size and on average at least 1 gram in weight, be well fermented and truly dried with a moisture content of approximately 7% with an absolute maximum of 8%. Consistent in quality both within parcel and between shipments, essentially free from leaf insects, free from foreign matter, free fatty acid content less than 1%, and in addition, manufacturers prefer cocoa beans with fat content of 55-58% dried, dried nail basis shell content of 11 until 12 percent and a hard cocoa butter and in this slide there are features of any condition of cocoa beans in figure 12 shows foreign matter in cocoa beans in for in figure above is large pieces of husk placenta and other material with no commercial value and Figures uh, below residue separated using a 5 mm round hole sieve. Figure 13 shows broken beans. Figure 14 shows insect damaged beans. Figure 15 shows bean cluster. Clumped beans and double beans are rejected together with foreign matter during cleaning and can represent a serious loss to manufacturers. The grade standards lay down the following maximum limits for producing country internal classification for fermented beans. For grade 1, maximum percentage of beans for motley is 3%, slaty 3%, insect damaged, germinated or flat is 3%. For grade 2, motley is 4%, slaty is 8% and insect damaged, germinated or flat 6%. For good fermented, percentage of slaty is 5%, defective 5%, and for fair fermented, percentage of slaty is 10% and defective 10%. A number of origins and markets have their own particular criteria. For example, in Nigeria, Nigeria defines cocoa as main crop if 300 beans weigh 11 ozis or above and light crop if it doesn't meet this standard and difference with London the future markets based in London provides for an allowance if the bean count is greater than than a hundred beans for 100 gram with beans in excess of 120 beans for a hundred gram not being tenderable the next in this slide shows you FCC rules. FCC is the Federation of Cocoa Commerce. There are adulteration, bean cluster, bean count, bean size standards, broken bean, good fermented, 
fair fermented, cocoa related matter, contamination, cut test, and defective bean. And the last is key points of quality control. Check that the cocoa fulfills the criteria agreed in the contract. The cocoa must be properly fermented and dried, be free from any foreign odors, comply with limits in contents of slatty, flat, clusters, broken, moldy, insect damage, foreign matter, and germinated beans, conform to the required moisture levels, and comply with bean count requirements. This is the references that we use in making the video. That's all our presentation about the production of chocolate. Thank you for your attention.